Hey guys, in this video I will show you the updated way to activate scale highlighting in FL Studio 20 and also five additional tips to make the piano roll easier to use that I thought should be included. So let's get started. So let's find your synth of choice or your instrument of choice that you want to use the piano roll with. Uh, for me, I'm going to be using Serum 98 with this patch. And then let's open up the piano roll. So at the top left here on this arrow, let's click this down and now it's going to be under view and then it's going to be over down here in the bottom, kind of bottom middle called scale highlighting. Now, a cool thing about this is yours might look like this. There's nothing on the piano roll, so it's probably set to default or it might be just the black notes or automatic. So if you don't know, I'm right clicking to keep this menu open. So let's say, for example, let's choose a natural minor, minor scale, which is my favorite usually, in C sharp. And as we change that, you can see all the notes behind here also change. So that's how you're going to do that. And if you're wondering why I have all these notes here, that's also another feature that I wanted to show you. So if you click under the same arrow, also go under view and then go under, uh, where is it? Key labels here at the bottom. And you can right click for none if you don't want to see any of the notes or you can go to the root notes to just see obviously the root note of that scale or to all the notes. And I kind of prefer all notes to kind of see everything. And yeah, so the next thing I want to show you about as well is this little stamp here. So when you click this stamp, this is going to bring up a lot of melodic chords and scales. So for example, we are in the natural minor scale, the Aeolian of C sharp. So if I go down here and I click at the natural scale here, Aeolian, now I go to our C sharp and click it and it's going to print all of the scale of C sharp minor and you can see that reflecting exactly how I set up the scale highlighting with each one uh, highlighted so that's a cool way to kind of check out to see what scale you're doing and then the next thing also is up here in this advanced for the chords you have a huge selection of different chords that you want to that you can add so if you're like I want a 7 at 11 on C sharp then you click that here and you're going to have this chord which leads me into another thing. If it's if you want to easily preview instead of hitting the space bar all the time, you can hold down your alt and then right click. And you can kind of preview it that way. So for example, if we had like that and then a major seventh down here, we can kind of bounce back and forth to see which ones sound pretty good without having to play the whole thing all the time. So that was the next thing that we we're going to talk about. And then, so let's go ahead and delete these real quick. And if we go up to this little triangle thing here, there's a thing called time segments under the view right here. It's going to be at the top. Now, right now it's on none. Uh, so you can always change it to, to beats. And you see how the background also highlights to different segments of beats or you can go to bars. So each bar is going to be highlighted and the next one is not going to be. Or you can go into four bars, which I think that's default for, for most piano rolls. And then you can go to the markers if you want to view for like when you put your markers in. Um, generally, I kind of like it on bar because it kind of makes it a little bit easier for each bar to count. One, two, three, it's all highlighted, kind of works for me. And then the very last thing I kind of wanted to show you as well is the grid contrast that I believe is new. So if you go to view and then there's grid contrast, you can right click and you can see in the background how it gets a little bit more contrast, a little bit more noticeable. Uh, high looks cool, uh, but it's a little bit much for me. So I kind of generally keep mine a medium. So it's kind of a good middle ground between the low, which is kind of hard to see and the high which is a little too much so medium for me is generally right in that same spot so that's the end of the video i hope you guys liked it uh, if you did please leave a comment and also subscribe for future content thanks for watching